Hey bestie, I'm Kenya and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in for a planner sesh with me. So bestie, in this video, I will be doing a requested video. You guys wanted to see how I create and actually use my monthly layout and write in it. So I thought that I would finally share a monthly after the pen. So if you want to see how I use this layout, stay tuned. <music> Okay, Bestie, so before we get started with the after the pen process, let me share how I actually created this spread just in case you're interested in creating something similar. So for the seasonal stickers, the fall stickers and the monthly boxes and everything, I used the Kelva Plan 2024 Seasonal Planner Sticker um, pack. It was a sticker book that came out with the planner and I couldn't wait to use it y'all. So I went ahead and popped that baby open and I paired it with some Winnie the Pooh stickers from the Happy Planner and then I drew like this little like sign because I just feel like the Winnie the Pooh characters they always have like a cute little sign that goes with them and I pulled some fall um, quotes from the fall box sticker book and brought it all to life and then I of course used some holidays um, labels to like kind of add to the spread a little bit and some bullet points and then that washi tape is from planet thing you guys probably already knew that though so yeah that's how i created it and i actually like it it actually turned out to be very neutral and just like a little fun cutesy spread so you know we're gonna write in this baby and i'm gonna zoom in a little bit and show you how i actually use it now i do you i typically you guys use this spread from week to week and not necessarily all in one sitting but for the sake of this video i want to show you how it looks when it is completely filled out so i kind of did a little prep work this month so i could actually film this video for y'all so let's get into the after the pen so first up you guys of course i got to show y'all the pens that i'm going to be using and they are my beloved pilot g2.0 seven in my paper mate flare and i believe that's a point seven as well i mainly use the pilot pen but i do like to i have been using the paper mate flare a lot in my planner lately just to kind of give a little bit of additional thickness sometimes you can tell on camera sometimes you can't but i love this pen i also also like the point five too just to put that out there okay so on the typically how i start is i just write in whatever i know that i have going on for the month like and that's a lot of meetings a lot of appointments that's what i put on this planner spirit and as you guys can see i put on the first day i had a team zoom call and typically i only put one to two things in a box or in a day and then I try to use my sidebar as an overflow. That's how I've been using it lately. I used to use that sidebar as like a monthly to-do list. But I had to switch that up because life life was out here, you know, adding to the schedule and stuff. Everything was getting piled on me. So I needed more room. So you guys can see on the second, I actually skipped that box. And I don't mind doing that because if i don't have anything to write there i just won't and then if i do have something later like once the day actually happens or it's coming up i can fill in as i see fit but for the most part i don't worry about missing days because the goal is to use the spread not necessarily try to fill in every box but when i'm decorating i like to keep a keep the spread balanced and you guys will see why i mean i just feel like it looks better you know so on the third i had a little date night you know wanted to put that in and then i had some, of course some weekend plans now typically on sundays you know we go to church okay we go to church so i always fill in all my sundays i notate that have church and the church times and stuff and this can kind of change depending on the church service that we attend but i knew this month we would probably be going to the late services because the weekends were booked okay and typically when it's a busy saturday we sleep in just a little bit later so we tend attend the later services okay so i got my churches church services on sunday and then on mondays we always have a leadership meeting you know me and my husband will have a partner meeting as well for me and him um to you know run our business and stuff but we have a leadership meeting uh, with our other business partners and everything so we get on zoom and do that and that's typically on mondays sometimes it ends up on tuesdays it just depends if it's like a holiday that lands on that day um, but for this month all of them are going to be on monday so i'm going to fill those in and now you guys y'all see that there was a box on the sixth and i did not write in that box 
And for the things that I know I typically have on the schedule pretty much every month or every week, I don't like to use boxes for those. I like to just write them in the free space and then I can write whatever may come up for that Monday because Mondays be busy, but I didn't have anything at the moment. So we just kind of left it as is. Okay. So then of course on the seventh, it was, it's election day. And I had already put that down. And then on Wednesdays, we have house church. So that's another thing that's kind of like set in the schedule. So I just go ahead and fill those out. And as y'all can see, like it's filling up pretty quickly, right? Like it's, it's coming. It's coming together. These are all things that I just know for a fact that, you know, typically unless things change, unless there's some cancellations like due to weather or just other things or whatever. And I say weather for like house church. Sometimes we won't meet. If the weather is bad so i have that and then i had scheduled a meeting session with uh two actually two groups of my friends so we i wanted to write that down so i did not forget those meetings with them and that's gonna be on the ninth and then i'm looking towards the weekends typically you guys something else that i do um, which I guess in a way it's kind of like how I digitally plan. Um, I don't use a digital planner, but I do use a Google calendar and I have to do that because if I don't, me and my husband, we probably won't be on the same page. And so we share calendars. We share a calendar. Um, and we share our personal calendars with each other. So we kind of know like, okay, well it, it just helps us, you know, maneuver our schedule especially when you know he may be out and about want to schedule something or whatever he always can look at the calendar to see what we got going on and vice versa for me as well so that just kind of works out but i did have a hair appointment um on that friday and then that saturday it was the miss university of southern mississippi program which is actually a preliminary from miss mississippi which is a preliminary from miss america so i wanted to attend that so i put that down and um on that saturday so i could remember that i i, I wanted to i had to put that in my planner y'all because i was like oh i don't want to miss this this year i want to go so put that down and then i had another meeting scheduled with a friend of a friend and this was so funny this was actually one of those examples where i had to check the calendar to see when i could actually meet with her to help her out with with a couple of things then i have a nail appointment and y'all like my nail appointment and then my hair appointments i be scheduling those in advance okay because the my nail tech as well as my um hairstylist they be booked okay booked and busy so i need my spot too so i have to spread like schedule those in advance okay and then so now we're to the 16th and i had a lunch date uh scheduled here's the thing with these though so sometimes these are actually sporadic and they happen and i can't actually plan for them it's like okay yeah we kind of do have a free period tomorrow we can actually go get lunch or whatever but me and my husband because we do kind of have a busy schedule now mind y'all we live together we don't have any children but we do run multiple businesses honestly at this point and it can kind of his schedule can be a little bit longer and we work together in these but sometimes a lot of times y'all we are working separately so he have a longer schedule depending on what's on his list and task list to get done for the business and same with me so we try our best to uh schedule in dates and we found that day dates work really well for us because like nighttime we might get home late because we've been with a client um later than we thought or we had a teammate that we were working with or whatever that's a little bit late later so we will, you know, schedule our day dates and we'll do a lot of lunch dates and everything. We'll go do some little cute stuff, find little cute places to kind of like, you know, take a breather, pause the day and just, you know, spend some time with us or whatever. And so I, whenever I can schedule those, I try to, but sometimes they are sporadic. And so that'll be a, that's an example of something that I would fill in as it happens when they are sporadic. So like, that's why those empty spaces, they come in handy because sometimes I might need them now I did decide to go ahead and pull out my alpha basic sticker book from Kel of a plan because we had a conference this upcoming weekend um, and I wanted to kind of like make it look stand out and then I also use the other little box to notate that it's my uncle's birthday and I wanted to you know make sure I can put my uncle on the calendar okay like I love my uncle and so I wanted to put him on the um, calendar and now I'm just spelling out our conference 
um, acronym. <laughs> And I'm going to be writing that in on the weekend. And y'all, I use the double box sticker from Kell of a Plant. I like that she, I, like she put some of these in her books because I have conferences and things that I go to that typically span over two days. You know, sometimes three days, sometimes a whole week. And normally when it's a whole week, I'll use washi tape. But I like these little two-day stickers and the, the three-day stickers that she offers to like just kind of notate that. So... I like that so we filled that in and then I didn't have anything else for the 20th so we're gonna move on to the 21st and y'all see I skipped the 14th as well so that box is completely empty as well so you know just never know you need those empty boxes because things like I said could just pop up you might go to lunch with a friend you want to put that on the calendar or whatever and y'all schedule that like the day before but you don't want to forget it the day of so you, and y'all, the way I use this is I will check my calendar, like, as I check my planner. I'll plan for the week, obviously, but then, too, like, I use both of them simultaneously because I love the viewpoint. Okay, so on the 21st, I had another hair appointment because it's Thanksgiving week and you got to have your hair fresh for the, you know, the living room, you know? You got to have a, like, fresh style or whatever. So, I scheduled a hair appointment for that and then I had another lunch with my best friend and me and her got to spend some girl time together the day before Thanksgiving before we both left out of town so that was great and then I left Thanksgiving blank because I already had like a little I mean like that label there that says Thanksgiving and then I knew on the 24th I wanted to spend some time with my goddaughter and so we're gonna have us a little family day and I wanted to write that in um because it's the day after Thanksgiving and I know she's out of school so we'll be able to spend some time and everything so I wrote in that and then just also some of the activity that we wanted to do okay so on the 25th I knew I had a team zoom call it actually was it on zoom I can't even remember at this point because y'all I'm doing this voiceover I made like a little list so I could keep up with everything I had going on so I could fill in this uh spread for you guys but um i had a zoom call and then of course me and my husband we had planned like this year we're going to the bayou classic and if y'all don't know what the bayou classic is it is where um southern university and gremlin university play their annual game and their annual football game and there's like a whole week of events and things and it's like a whole time and i've never been i always go to the mississippi version through which is jackson state in Alcorn State, um, that we call it the, it's actually called, it was called the Classic because I was growing up, but now they call it the Celebration Bowl. But, you know, I love like going to the games and like, I just love football. So it's a lot of football on this spread, you guys. And I love the bands and everything. Like football season is my season, okay? So we wanted to go to the Bayou Classic and it's always played the day, like the Thanksgiving weekend. So that's on the schedule and then i had to notate also that it's my grandmother's birthday this month so had to put her on the calendar and then my alma mater is actually doing like a little tree lightning like i said lightning lighting <laughs> um situation and it's like a community event so i wanted to put that down and then we got word that of the parade that's also at the end of november so I pretty much have filled in the spread, you guys. Like, that's the girl was, it's just got a lot going on. <laughs> okay. So, here's how I use the sidebar. Like I told you earlier, my sidebar is my overflow area. Okay. And for those weeks that I have, or especially like typically the weekend is what I feel like this mostly turns into, I like to notate events. Okay. So, here's where. I decided to like put some things okay so first up on the fifth me and my family we always get together because once again we love football you guys I come from a football loving family a lot of my cousins play football my brother played football and I mean my husband played football so it's like we love football over here okay and we watch football and just so happened on the fifth my NFL favorite team the Philadelphia Eagles were playing the Dallas Cowboys now here's a fun fact about me and my family my entire family for the most part yeah my entire family they all are Dallas Cowboy fans and most people ask well Kenya what happened to you this also includes my husband y'all he married into the right family me I just never you know whatever i ended up being an eagles fan because a guy from my hometown played from the, for the eagles and i've just loved them ever since and i never wavered okay never wavered but also 
um i wanted to put down that my alma mater is also playing mississippi state one weekend and then i wanted to put in the jackson state all corn game that i was telling y'all about because we were kind of up in the air if we wanted which one we wanted to go to especially if we can make it back in time i don't think we can make the southern miss mississippi state game because if we go to new orleans you know, that's the whole thing. That was the whole thing. And then, so, but it was like, Jackson State could possibly happen. So, I still wanted to notate that. So, I put that on the list for me to share. For, for me to put in this video. So, because that's how I would plan it out. All right, Bessie. So, as y'all can see, the whole spread is full. I do have these empty boxes. But like I said, I would normally, after I filled out the entire month, I would still keep those blank. And then, if I don't want to keep them blank, I'll put like a quote or something there. But because this spread is so full, I just didn't feel like I needed it. So, the only other thing left to do is to actually fill in the little sign. And I wanted to put something about like friends and being grateful for or thankful for or friends this way like a little sign to say hey we're headed to the friendsgiving because that was like the whole inspiration behind this spread was to use like fall thanksgiving type um you know icon stickers or decorations with the you know we need the poo stickers so i'm gonna take my color tip sticker and i'm actually gonna write this in and then i'm gonna write friends and then i'm gonna put like maybe this way I think that'll be cute. Like, yeah, we're we're headed this way because you got Piglet. He's kind of leading um, Winnie to go in that direction. Eeyore's behind them. Tigger's doing his own thing. You know, <laughs> I just love the characters, y'all. Fun fact about me: Tigger is my favorite Disney character. Just saying. Put that out there. I have yet to do a Tigger spread. I need to do one. So I guess this is kind of like my little break into that because I've been hoarding those. So. I finished up this spread, you guys, and this is how I would use my monthly sticker. I mean, monthly sticker, my monthly layout, you guys. I actually love this. I and once I decorate it, I don't really add any other decorations. But y'all see how the decorations and the boxes kind of just make sense. Um, I know that I can never go wrong with putting boxes on the weekends and bullet points on the weekends and all of that. So as you can see, I placed those bullet points kind of strategically in that way, I guess you could say. Um, so typically I always have like two to three things. And if I don't, I just don't like that Sunday bullet point. I didn't have anything. All right, Bessie. So that's it for this video. I hope it has inspired you and you learned something. Please like this video and comment below. Do you love the monthly view? Like, let me know. Like, is this your jam? Like the monthly layout? I would love to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel and like and comment and definitely share with a friend that you think will find this inspirational. And as always, Bestie, I just want to thank you guys so much for being so sweet, so kind, and just wonderful. And until next time, I love you. Bye!